Okay, welcome to this video. Uh, this is Smart Pipe here, and this is the Seat Leon at a track I'm going to not even try to pronounce because I'll butcher it. But uh, yeah, this is a car track combination part of the Phoenix Racing Club Masters series. Um, it will be run this evening from my time, um, but I hope to post this video tonight and then the actual race video will be um, Sunday or Monday um, that is my plan so this will be posted Saturday and then you'll see the race for this car on either tomorrow Sunday or Monday because I'm lazy um, I'll figure it out as I go uh, ah, come on keep going we keep going anyway this video is um for oh gosh that was a jump um talk about the f3 series in a nutshell um basically a mid-season review i'll overlay some footage of from the f3 series um in due course when i'm talking about the relevant things um but at the moment, you can probably see a distinct increase in quality from my regular videos. That's because in the last couple of days, I've installed a NVIDIA 1050 overclocked card. Um, <laughs> and there's very specific reasons for that choice of card, but we'll get to that. Um, but basically, anyone who's followed the season of the F3 knows that I've been struggling with getting performance not only just outright performance I'm kind of just about okay with that but actual consistent game running um, I've been having problems with so this um, Alex Nessie had offered a cheap enough solution oh locking the brakes ah no 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 uh, we need to adjust a bit of brake bias Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, Nessie had offered to sell me his old graphics card, which still would have been a massive improvement on what I had. And basically we decided to go ahead with it until I realized that this PC's power supply is only 180 watts. And I only have myself to blame for that, but that's what we had to live with. So looking around and getting a bit of advice from a couple of friends of mine who are much more into the actual components of computers than I am. Um, I was recommended to look at the 1000 series for NVIDIA because those cards are stonkingly efficient. And he wasn't wrong. This 1050 card, which is a near 400% increase in the power that I had, and will do about the same performance as 770 GX, GTX, um, uses 30 watts. Just 30 watts. So my processor, I think, has a maximum ration of 95 watts. And that with 30, that gives me just enough leeway. And to be fair, probably didn't use a, doesn't use a lot more, if any more, than the old car that I had in here that was crap. So, all's good. <laughs> I can now whack the settings up. I can now play it in 1080, which is the resolution of the monitor I'm using. So that looks a lot nicer from my point of view. And uploading in 1080 probably looks nicer on your side too. So that's good. That is good. Um, I'll actually just do some before after before after yeah you kind of get the idea of how much of a quality jump that is um, things have been anti alazed there's filtering going on there's a lot more trackside stuff although on this track you probably don't notice it so much because it's a modded track which is partly where my troubles came in because modded tracks don't have the levels of detail quite so well dialed in as the stock tracks but yeah, you get the gist. A lot more quality. Um, so that's that. I, it should allow me to not be Kunos, as it's become to be known. Uh, where basically the game lets me down for various reasons. Uh, Austria being probably the worst one, because we took out our teammate Nihon in the F3 series. So yeah, it's not good. It's not good. 
But then again, like the season opener spa, busy gridding, and the game just goes, nope, see ya. That was annoying. And then we had one other incident. What was oh yeah, the game rubber banding. That's more my connection, I believe. But I guess the poor frame rate mightn't have helped. <laughs> so yeah, it, this is this is good news for all around gaming, I think. And not just me, but everyone I race with. And also, now that I have frames... Okay, I'm not demonstrating it well now. But I um, definitely feel I can hit my marks much closer now that I can see them over 60 times a second as opposed to 20. <laughs> it, it seems to be a lot easier to hit the marks. Um, actually, what? Ah, run deep because I'm messing with stuff. But yeah, we're getting 80 FPS now. Well, 70, 80. So, recording on this track, I'm going to guess at my old resolution of 720. And all of the details turned way down. I might have gotten 20 FPS. So that gives you a perspective on how well we're doing. <sighs> anyway, that's the bad things finished. Uh, good sides from the F3 series. Um, primarily being that we actually did have some good racing. Um, Paul Ricard surprisingly being the highlight. Ooh, hello. Um, yeah, Paul Ricard basically being the highlight where... Okay, yeah, we had that incident where we rubber banded into the back of Trimbal, but... The comeback was good, it took a while, but we got there, and the last two laps were an absolute dogfight. Which is kind of all you can ask for, really, in this in that series. Um, and then... Red Bull Ring was a similar kind of story until I got fully rubber banded, but... Well, rubber banded, lagged into our dear teammate Nihon. But the start of that wasn't a Kuno's problem, that was a driver error from someone else, so we'll leave that be. Um, and Spa was another kind of interesting one where technically it was a recovery drive. I did catch up to people, but I never overtook anyone. <laughs> so Spa was very disappointing in that respect. Um, but then the last race we had in Virginia was very fun. Very fun indeed. <laughs> oh boy. Um, Virginia was good. We had cocked up once or twice, just catching curbs in the wrong places and basically trying to drive too aggressively on worn tires. But yeah, that's what it is. Um, as for prospects with the season coming, I hope to have a lot more close racing. I think I <laughs> most races now have had a good first lap run with Mr. Bob. I don't know what it is, but in Paul Ricard and Red Bull Ring, first lap battle with Mr. Bob was very fun, very clean, and I hope to have more of those kind of battles as opposed to battles where there's a bit of dirty racing or one of us ends getting taken out or making mistakes. I want more Mr. Bob style battles. They were very fun and kind of the highlight of my season so far. I've probably overlaid these already and it's making a lot more sense than watching a see it Leon run around a track in New Zealand but the magic of editing. Um, so yeah that pretty much does it for the the mid-season roundup for the Formula 3 even though I'm driving a seat Leon it's all terribly confusing to me right now but it'll probably make more sense to you guys. Um, oh, the audio cutting is going to be fun on this. Um, so anyway, the, we get back into the season tonight, but for you guys it's a week delayed, so... Ha! Suckers. Um, <laughs> um, but tonight we have the Masters Cup, and the Masters... Actually, we'll explain that now while we're all here at once. Um... The Phoenix Racing Club Master Series is different car track combinations. So this is the only time we're going to run 
the Seat Leon and the Audi TT Cup. Um, this is the only race we're going to have these cars, and this is probably the only race we're going to have this track. Um, I can't remember the exact sequence, but we raced things such as Formula Truck, um, the Jordan 1991, uh, which is a fantastic car. I have driven that before because it's a well-known mod done by a very good, very skilled team of developers. I envy their skills entirely. Um, and that should be good fun. Uh, there's a couple of the ones I think I might have seen Stadium Super Trucks. I could be lying. Uh, snarky yellow text will probably have corrected me already. Um, because I can't look at the Discord right now. Because, well, I'm busy driving to see it Leon at see it Leon speeds. Cannot get that turned down. Anyway, uh, so that's what the Master Series is. It's about five or six weeks, I think, where we just run interesting car companies. Oh, Group C as well. That's going to be a hell of a fun. <laughs> um, but yeah. yeah, should be good fun. And I think that's all of the updates I have for this channel today. Ooh. Good lord, the understeer. Ah, too many years. Come on, turn, turn, turn. <laughs> Anyway, that's all the story I have. Uh, we'll catch you tomorrow for the race in this car. Um, the this car and the Audi TT are running in a single class, so it should be interesting. The Audi TT is rear-wheel drive. As you can tell by the appalling driving, this car is front-wheel drive. Uh, I think I'm going to drive the Leon. I'm not entirely sold on it yet, but it seems to me a little bit more fun. The Audi likes to snap a little bit, but anyway. That's neither here nor there. Oh, no, we're not going to sell a PB. Anyway, uh, that'll be all. Uh, catch you next time. Bye.